Night three in support of the Lost Sockets team 8789 from LDSS. Good evening. Welcome to the Playroom Experiment. My name is Mike Primo. Thank you. Thank you all. Please. No, please. Anyways. I've never been self-congratulatory on a live stream. Holy moly, we made it to night three. And wow, what? What a great three days it has been. I got to tell you, I am so happy to see the result that we have had uh, working collectively as a group, trying to raise some money for a great opportunity for these fine young people. Team 8789 Lost Sockets out of Dorchester making their first, uh, earning their first uh, provincial spot or spot in the provincial championships. They had been there before um, during COVID or just after COVID where there was an open invitation to compete in provincials. So in their history, this is the first time that they've earned a spot uh, to provincials. They're, uh, as I said, the first two nights, they're intelligent, they're kind, they're committed to what they do. They are the reason why the Playroom Experiment exists. There's a lot of people uh, who carry that quality with them. We wouldn't be around if not for a, a lot of folks, but they are uh, part of that echelon. There's there's absolutely no question about it. So, holy moly, we did it. We did it. We got the night three. And uh, we have had more donations come in. Last night was really special because we had an individual from Arkansas... Uh, their name was uh, Luva, and Luva is from Arkansas. She, they they uh, stumbled on our live stream and explained what it was all about, and got a donation from Luva from Arkansas for twenty dollars last night. So uh, I think we have, yeah, it was pretty cool, right, Reed? So I don't know if I told you this when I saw you today, but. Um, if you want to, I think we talked about learning ink and gold for next week. If you want to, I told Mr. Wilson that if, if you wanted to take a copy home with you, you could do it just to sort of get some practice. Uh, it's a pretty easy game to learn, but there's a couple of um, small details in the game. Uh, one of them being, and you'll uh, you'll this will all make sense when you watch the tutorial, but. You're essentially going down uh, as an adventurer into caves and you're trying to get as, mu as many gems as you can. Um, at some point you're going to leave the cave because you're at risk of losing everything that you earn if you run into a monster or trap of the same type. So when you leave, if you can't divide the gems evenly, those gems get left behind and then when you leave, you get to take those with you as well. So. Um, just keep an eye out for that when you watch the tutorial. Oh, you pl uh, figures. You, I've played it. I have a copy from the library. Learned it. La oh, you. <laughs> Why am I not surprised, man? I am not surprised at all that you did that. You are. Paul Stanley from Kiss is going to be mad at me for saying this to you, but you, my friend, are a rock star. Okay. It's not even debatable. I'm very impressed. Okay, I leave that in your hands. If you want to, uh, you can attend next Wednesday with the grade sixes as well, just to help them through it. Uh, I think you do a great job teaching them the game. And uh, yeah, like let's, uh, let's make something of this while I'm away because if we can see some stability uh, during my time on vacation, which by the way, I can't come soon enough. I'm looking so forward to the break. Um, then, uh, yeah, it'd be nice to see a good result with that next week. 
And I'll tell you who else needs a break is the Lost Sockets, Team 8789. They have been grinding since January. I know a lot of the teachers and coaches repeatedly stay at the school till dinner time. I know Mark Jaynes in particular. Uh, probably the earliest he ever got home was 6.30 p.m. at nighttime. And uh, all of them are just so dedicated. It's wonderful to see. You can see I got my hoodie on again tonight. Wearing it with pride. And I am unfortunately, I could be on a plane when this tournament starts, but if you want to watch them, what you're going to need to do is look up uh, Canada First Robotics on Twitch, or I believe there's also an Ontario First Robotics. So if you just search First Robotics as a channel on, at twitch.tv, is it twitch.tv or twitch.com? I can't remember. One of the two. Let's check it out. Let's see. It's twitch.tv backslash first Canada. That's one of them. And the other one is twitch.tv backslash first Ontario one. So as long as you search first, you might see the channel come up. Um, but you'll be able to watch live all through the weekend and you'll be able to access a schedule. You'll see when team eight, seven, eight, nine is playing. It's a really, really interesting tournament. So um, let's see here. I'm going to. I'm going to open up a game here. Uh, I don't know if we have enough people in here yet. People might be finishing their dinner soon. Or still. But uh, let's go ahead and bring up our game for the night. First game of the night is actually not... Oops. Not Trivia Murder Party. Let's go back. There we go. This is what we want to see. We're going to play a game of Fibbage 3. And it also happens to be the one Jackbox game that has my favorite theme music. So I just need a minute here to enjoy this. I think I'm getting a text from my wife. Let's have a look here. Oh. <laughs> Right. Anyways. Let's get on with this. Uh, I have a feeling we might have to wait a little bit. But here's the room code. It is AXXK. And I'm more than happy to hop in for this first game. Hello, googly eyes. So, while people are coming in... There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Chase is here. Super Sexy's here, apparently. I am not going to ask you to prove it. Uh, Quiplash 2 we can get back to tonight as well. This is uh, just our first kickoff game. We'll also get to Trivia Murder Party as well. Had a conversation with a few people today who weren't familiar with um, Jackbox games and I invited them to join us live tonight. So we definitely want to get some Trivia Murder Party in for uh, some of the new faces as well. So Danny B, welcome. All right, we got a good little crew here. So we'll get a game out of the way, and after game one, we will go over all of the many wonderful donations that we've received for the Lost Sockets. I gotta say, the support has been amazing in such a short period of time with very little notice. Uh, the troops have rounded up. Oh, Mama Hitchens in the house. Welcome, Mama Hitchin. Who, by the way, is one of our new donors from today. So we'll go over all that stuff after the game. So the thing I want to explain is that the YouTube broadcast might be a couple of seconds behind your phone. What you're going to want to make sure you do is keep an eye on your phone while you're playing the game. Just follow the prompts. It shouldn't be um, offset too much. But if you get glued to the YouTube feed, 
and your internet service chokes up or pauses for a minute and you get a little bit behind, then you might notice a couple of questions zip right by you uh, under your nose without even noticing. So just keep an eye out for it. And uh, we should have a great deal of fun. The idea behind this game is a lot like Balderdash. Some of you might have played that board game before where you get a question you're not really supposed to know. Your job is to create an answer that is believable so that yours gets picked all the while you're trying to pick the actual correct answer. I will tell you that there are some pretty outrageous answers that are deemed to be true by the researchers who uh, developed this game. Uh, You'll definitely learn something when you play this. All right. So let's get to it. I'm going to start it up. Have fun, everybody. Hey there, I'm Cookie Masterson. You may have seen me in this month's issue of People Magazine. I'm the guy in the letters section asking about cod recipes. Eight players. Okay, everybody look to your left. Now look to your right. One of you will never be a lawyer. I forgot what my point was. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. The audience gets to throw extra lies into the mix and guess the truth along with players. Let's go. This is round one, and that means you get 500 for each player you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll net a thousand for finding the truth. Okay, pick a category. Okay, here's your first question. Queen Elizabeth II, Bill Murray, and Big Bird may not have a lot in common, but they've all earned the honorary title of blank. Now, use your device to put in a lie that you think will trick the other players into believing it. If you're stuck, for half the points, you can hit the lie for me button and get a suggestion. Do it already! Just a quick reminder, everyone, that we want to keep this family friendly, too, please. Thank you very much. Hurry! Hit the live for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, these are your choices. Pick the truth on your device now. Let's see what you guys picked. Hey, being good to the host. Oh, Thank you. Bait on that one. Nobody thought of this. The governor of this totally landlocked state has handed out the honorary title since 1931. Alright, choose a category. Here it is. 
In 2011, the definition of a service animal was updated in the Americans with Disabilities Act. As an alternative to dogs, the act now allows miniature blank. Okay, enter your lies. Pick the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. And it was also... Well, that was interesting. And it was also... And believe it or not, it was also... <laughs> wow! Impressive! Hmm, kind of spooky. Ooh! Which seems unfair, because they already have a full-time job looking adorable. Category. Sorry to challenge you, I'll just pick this one. Okay, here's your question. In 2017, Carolina Williams was accepted into Yale after writing an unusual 200-word essay about her love of blank. Write your lies now. Find the truth. Okay, what did everyone pick?
Way to go, Danny. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. And now, a fib from foreign lands. Want to get to know someone? As the Russians say, you'll know a person when you eat a bushel of blank with him. Alright, type in your lies. Okay, which one's the truth? And what did people pick? <laughs> Way to go, Lukey Luke! Luke. Bond over hypertension. Now, surely you guys are not going to let a 10-year-old win, are you? Lukey Luke is my kid. Very proud of you, buddy. Keep it up. Take it home. Time's up. Here's a question for you. To promote a 2002 video game, a claim offered $10,000 to anyone who would blank. Type in your lies now. Hit the Y for me, buddy. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Who picked what?
to rock or not to rock? That is the question. Time to pick a category. Let's see what we got. Despite it being a crime for the last 38 years, in 2014, Grand Rapids officially made it legal to blank another person. Answer your lies now. Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. Okay, take a look and find the truth. I love this part. The old law was declared unconstitutional in the case Grand Rapids versus I know you are, but what am I? This is the final fibbage. One question left for triple the points. Good luck. Jonathan and Drew Scott, a.k.a. the Property Brothers, have an older brother named J.D. who has performed in Las Vegas as an impersonator of blank and blank. Write your lies now. Okay, where's the truth?
Okay, let's take a look. Chase, you are our first winner. Congratulations. There we go. I just realized I was supposed to have this screen on. I didn't have our donor box link on. Oops. <laughs> All right. That was a good first game. I hope Mama Hitchens had a good time playing this. I think she got into this, didn't she? I thought she did. Yeah, there she is. Oh, there she is. Okay, she's going to want another run at this. We got to give her another run at this. Let me tell you something, Mama Hitchin. I have had many a disappointing games, thinking I give stupendous answers. And nobody ever picks my answers. Very rarely. So don't give up. You're going to be fine. You get right back up. Brush off your knees, the dirt, the dust, whatever. You're going to be fine. You're going to be okay. We're going to give this one more go. I hope everybody enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Hudson owns this one. It's good if you can keep playing. It's good you can keep playing. Oh, no, Hudson, you got to play. Were You, you were uh, doing the audience answers by chance? Honestly, Reed, I almost never win. Like, this is rare. I just, I happen to have a really good start with my first answer. I'm trying to remember what the question was now. I think it had to do with the queen and big bird. And I said, uh, best dressed in yellow. That got me a good first start. But then I sort of, I, I progressively got worse as we went along. For sure. All right, here we go. So, we're going to back out of this. Uh, we got to get Hudson in here. And we will start a new game. There we go. So here's your new room code. Same thing, go to jackbox.tv. And the room code is YLQH. Hey, way to see you in there, Hudson. <laughs> Dizzy Joe, welcome. Johnny, welcome. Good to have you. And Mama Hitchin. My money's on you, Mama. Okay? <laughs> now listen, before we do this, we have, uh, we have to go over our donations. Okay? Because this is phenomenal here. Uh, myself and Mark Janes kicked things off. We wanted to get the mo momentum going. Christina Parker followed up with $100. Keith Graham came in with $50. All these were on Monday. Deborah Dorman, $20. Bonnie Wilson, uh, a proud mama of Victoria, $50. Kelly Sove, teacher at uh, the high school for $20. Kate, Katie uh, Ward, $50. Elizabeth Haggard, Karen Hitchin, there she is, $50. Yay! Everett Janes, $10. Sherry Watson, Penny Weir, fifty dollars. Luva Wilkinson from Arkansas donated twenty dollars. My son Luke went and got a twenty dollar bill out of his piggy bank. Mike and Diane Lacey, one hundred and fifty, amazing donation. Wayne Dealman, the Bender family, one hundred and fifty dollars. I think Danny's here tonight. Cheryl might be watching. Hello, Cheryl. Catherine Ferguson, 
And who did I miss? I missed Cindy Williams for $25. And that is bringing us to a grand total of $1,125. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. So thank you very much, everybody who has supported the Lost Sockets. They leave on a bus tomorrow, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't seen Luva here yet, Reed. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully they will show their face. I certainly hope so. Because that was uh, a very kind gesture on their part. At the end of the stream last night, if you didn't hear me at the beginning of the broadcast tonight, just as we were about to sign off, uh, someone named Luva popped in from Arkansas and stumbled upon our stream, heard about what we were doing, and they donated 20, 20 bucks. So it's been a great three days trying to help this team out. They certainly deserve it. Uh, I'm so thankful that people came together to try and uh, help them out. What an opportunity for them, right? It's amazing. Um, I the, My favorite thing about FIRST Robotics is that it's not about the winning. It mirrors exactly what we try to uh, to send as a message in our game space. We play a lot of games, but we make it very clear we don't care who wins. In fact, I said it today at a table at uh, St. David where we do a lot of our lunchtime gaming, and I said, I promise you 20 years from now, nobody's going to care whether or not you won today. And it's really great to see an evolution of courtesy in our gaming space where kids are asking... Um, their, their peers if they want to go first at the pinball machine or who wants to be the first player and they're they're starting to develop a new kind of respect uh, in the game space and every once in a while you know we have to remind them but it's a great opportunity for them just as it is for the lost sockets and believe me if you have time to watch them on twitch go to twitch.tv just search uh, Robotics Canada or Robotics Ontario or no, sorry, First Canada or First Ontario. They'll be on one of those two feeds and you'll be able to watch them compete uh, over the course of the weekend. So I'm so excited for them. I hope they do amazingly well. What we're going to do now is play another game of Fibbage. We're going to try and play Quiplash 2. We're going to try and play uh, Trivia Murder Party again. Trivia Murder Party is a lot of fun. I think Mama Hitchens will really like that one. And maybe we can get Danny B's mom in on this, too. Danny, I, I don't know if we've met yet. But uh, my apologies if, I, if, I, if we have. Um, I meet a lot of people now. Uh, I might need to see a face to put with the name. But we might want to see if we can rope mom into a game. All right? I had a nice conversation with her today. Anyways, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Thank you again for supporting Team 8789, The Lost Sagets. We're going to get to another game right now. Have a good time, y'all. Hello, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I memorized every word of this game phonetically. How oh, good an eight-player game. Maximum chance of misspelled words. Oh, and uh, anyone else can get in and join the audience. You can vote on decoy answers to trip up the players, and you get to take a shot at guessing the truth. Let's play! This is round one, where you'll get 500 points for fooling the other players with your lies. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. Select the category. Here's the first question. The band Insane Clown Posse was sued in 2017 for allegedly plagiarizing from blank. Type in your lies now.
you can't think of anything. Okay, which one is the truth? Let's see how things shook out. Or I'll just do it. And the question is, in 1904, Mrs. John E. Cook invented the perfection salad. It's mostly just a regular tossed salad, but the twist is that it's served in blank. Okay, enter your lies. Write something quick or use the lie for me button. Okay, look for the truth and pick it. Let's see what everybody picked. That was a big one. Well, hats off to you. There is always room for nightmares. Okay, pick a category. Let me help with that. Now listen up. In 2015, the Carol E. Cuervo Institute, a Colombian educational center, offered to fix people's blank. All right, type in your lies.
the life for me, Butnik. You're stuck. All right, where's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? If it were me, I'd just tattoo a squiggly red line under the typo. Now for round two, where the stakes are doubled. Hey, it's Celebrity Social Media time! Celebrity Social Media! Celebrity Tweet. In September of 2012, Chris Jenner tweeted, I feel like there's a giant blank inside of me. Write your lies now. Behave yourselves, everyone. <laughs> Okay, seek the truth. I love this part. <laughs> wow, that was very persuasive. We've all been there. I see you can't be bothered. Okay, focus up. In 2012, Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez gave a 19-year-old woman a new house after she became his blank. Type in your lies now.
Hit the line for me, buddy, if you can't think of something. Okay, find the truth. Let's see what you guys picked. Well, so much for that one. And if you follow me on Twitter, I'll send you all my non-winning scratch-off tickets. Select the category. No, please allow me. Try this one. In 2017, Martha Stewart made the surprising confession that she has blank three times. Answer your lies now. for me, buddy. Okay, here are your choices. Let's see what everybody selected. Mmm, <laughs> great lie. and her hair stayed perfect. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have to interrupt this uh, game briefly. Uh, I don't know who entered the puking answer, but we can't have that. So, we, um, we are family friendly. We need to keep it that way. I don't mind if you dance around it. Uh, it's a slippery slope for me because how I am around my friends or 
in the bar or anywhere else that's social, uh, that's one thing. But we run a charity here and we all represent that charity and we need to rope that in. Okay, so that's my kind version of the warning. We can't have that. So hopefully you feel me because um, we'll just stop the stream if that happens again. Okay, I want this to be a celebration. Uh, again, we are a non-for-profit, and I said at the very beginning that we are family-friendly, and that's just my line, okay? So I apologize for having to do that, but I don't, um, I don't have the patience for that, okay? So you guys get to choose how this goes, okay? All right, carrying on. Final Fibbage time. Pay attention because this last one's worth triple points. Have fun. In 2014, Dr. Stephen Long of Marquette University coined the term rhotic replacement. You may have this disorder if you blank like blank. Okay, enter your lies. truth. Who picked what? That was a complete miss. The only known treatment is a ruby rack. final standings here. Lukey Luke coming in second place. Mama Hitchin. See what I said? See what I said? Much improvement. Very impressed. All right. We need to celebrate. <laughs> oh, you can't avoid it, ladies and gentlemen. 
You can't avoid it. I want to go and acknowledge our fine folks who have taken the time to support the Lost Sockets, Team 8789. We're kind of catching this midstream, but that's okay. Penny Weir and $50. Luva! Luva came! Lou Primo, my son, he pulled $20 out of his piggy bank. Love that boy to death. Mike and Diane and Lacey, $150. Wayne Dealman, $20. The Bender family, $150. Huge donation. Thank you so much. Cindy Williams, $25. Catherine Ferguson donated just before the stream, $100. We are at $1,125. I can't thank you enough. Oh. She wanted to be anonymous. Who wanted to be anonymous? Hudson, who wanted to be anonymous? Talk to me. Oh. I don't even know who... Wait a minute. <laughs> well, there is an option to pick anonymous when you're donating. Wait a minute. I'm confused. I'm looking for... Okay. Whatever the case, we appreciate her. No in Jackbox. I'm confused, Hudson. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Are you playing or is your mom playing? Because I'm assuming Mama Hitchin is Chase's mom. Help me out here. Hudson, what are you doing, buddy? Explain yourself. Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Okay, your mom is Johnny. Well, congratulations, Johnny. I hate to tell you this, Hudson, but you are the one who actually blew your mom's cover. <laughs> we could have just said, congratulations, Johnny. Been done with our business and moved on. All right, way to go. Way to go, Hudson's mom. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right, you guys got to tell me what we're playing next. We've got Quiplash 2 we can play. We can, uh, what else have we played? We haven't, okay, so let me give you a little bit of a, of a tour, if you will. I have a game called uh, TKO, which is a game where you draw, uh, you draw on your phone and you make t-shirts and then you make a slogan and then you're given somebody else's drawing and slogan. You got to make a shirt out of it and try and be the best shirt. So that's TKO. Quiplash 2 we played last night. So you get asked questions like, what's the worst grand prize ever for life? And you got to um, come up with the best answer that you can. And you'll be pitted against somebody's else ans uh, somebody else's answers for points. Uh, we also have Trivia Murder Party 2, which is a fantastic classic, which we should definitely get one game in. So, do we have any uh, requests? I don't. I'm trying to think if we've we haven't tried TKO yet, but Trivia Murder Party 2 is simple. We've got a couple moms in the house. I mean, I thought we only had one, but had you know Hudson let the cat out of the bag here, so. Went and ruined all that. Way to go, Hudson. I hope you're not getting grounded for this. <laughs> I gotta tell you a story about Hudson. Hudson's an amazing guy. I'm so glad he's part of our team. But I still remember one night when we were at the arena. I don't know if I should tell this story. I'm sorry, Hudson, but it was just funny. So we were all packing up chairs at the end of a game night. <laughs> do, you, do you know where I'm going with this? You remember when we were uh, having a game night at the arena in the senior art room and Hudson um, took it upon himself when we were piling the chairs back up and putting them away, he wanted to carry them on his head. All right. Now tell me if you think you know where I'm going with this. So as he was walking, carrying a couple chairs on his head, 
He's walking to the pile of chairs, which is a reasonable distance away. But up above him were security cameras in the arena. And he missed that security camera by literally an inch. I was maybe 15 feet behind him and I was watching him carry these things on his head and he missed it literally by that much. Do you remember that night? I don't know if he remembers that. Anyways, Luva, we're glad you're back. Luva donated, uh, made a donation to the Lost Sockets. She's uh, from, from Arkansas. What a kind gesture that is. Uh, we really appreciate you for, for doing something like that. Um, just spilled onto our live stream out of the blue and made a donation to support the Lost Sockets. You don't remember that? <laughs> well, I remember it because <laughs> you remember that commercial. Some people might remember the commercial where um, they were advertising carpet, how it could get out any stain. And they were the, the couple was having a dinner party. And there was a slow motion shot of the wine spilling on the carpet. And you hear, you know, like they're saying, no, it was kind of like that for me because I'm watching these legs on this chair come at this security camera and he's walking with the chairs on his head. I just thought I am going to have to explain this to the municipality and he's going to take that camera out. And oh man, it was, you don't remember it because you probably don't know that you did it. Anyways, Hudson, you're amazing, man. There is never a dull moment with you. And uh, thank you very much for ousting your mom tonight. That's all. I'm sorry, pal. That is all on you. She was just Johnny at the beginning of the night. That's it. That's all she was. She was Johnny. So my suggestion is if your mom plays again, First of all, she needs to ground you. Okay? No allowance. It's got to go. Cut off. She's going to have to pick a different name. We know her now. But Johnny, nice victory. Who cares? Who cares? Johnny won. Way to go, Johnny. All right, here's what we're going to do. I think because we have some new faces in the crowd... We should play Trivia Murder Party 2. We'll get to Quiplash later at the end of the night, but I want to shift to Trivia Murder Party 2 because it's my favorite Jackbox game. It's so much fun. The way they develop the, the, uh, the AI host, so well done. So I'm going to take a quick pause, okay? Go and have a break. Grab a drink from the fridge. Whatever it is you got to do. Put the baby to bed. I don't know. Uh, go do your stuff. We're going to come back in about two or three minutes, okay? And we got to make sure Luva gets in. So nobody's allowed to sign in until Luva does. So Luva, I don't know if, I hope Luva's still here. Luva, are you still here? I think Luva's still here. Because she just congratulated Johnny. All right. So Luva has to be the first to enter the game. We're going to go take a break, okay? We're going to come back, and Luva's going to be the first to enter. When she enters, then everybody else can come in. All right? We're going to take a pause. We're going to cycle these donors as uh, uh, we have an unending sign of appreciation for the support. I will be back in a moment, and thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Hudson, you know I love you, buddy. Stay amazing, okay? We'll be back in a moment. Thank you.
All right, everybody. I uh, was finagling here. We have a new donor. You might have seen it stuck on there. <laughs> I was fiddling around because as we were taking the break, I got notification that there was another donor that came around. Sean Pink. Um, let's go back to him for, for a moment. Sean just donated $100, which is amazing. And that brings our current total now to $1,225. Thank you, Sean. All right. Let's get back. Now, listen, I got to say two things here. Maybe three. I don't know. First, I hope I see Hudson again and his mom doesn't kill him. Second, I hope Hudson's mom keeps playing. I hope we see Johnny show up again because that was an impressive victory, right? Right. So this is Trivia Murder Party. Same thing goes as all of the other games that we've played. You're going to want to keep an eye on your phone. Uh, the, the crux of this game is you better get the questions right or you're going to end up in the killing room. So every round there's a multiple choice question. You're going to try and answer it to the best of your ability. If you're successful, great, you win money. If you don't, you go to the killing room. You have to perform a challenge and try not to die. But the object of the game is to be the first sack puppet to escape the hotel. All right, so what, are, what time are we at right now? We're at 820. So we're going to get a game of this in, and then we're going to play Quick Flash, and then we're going to wrap up, and I'm going to get ready for vacation time. All right? So, thank you, Sean, again. Thank you, everyone. We're at $1,225. That is amazing. I'm so thankful. Uh, I'm so grateful for all of the, the uh, people at, at LDSS and the volunteers who have decided to be a part of the player, Playroom Experiment to, to lift this project up. Uh, typically, when I do these live streams, I include a lot of pictures from our game spaces and pictures of our volunteers, but really, this these... Um, three nights have been focused on this team. It's an amazing feat that they've accomplished going to the Ontario Provincials for the first time as an earned competitor. Uh, they've earned a spot in the competition, and I can't wait to watch and see how this unfolds. It's going to be a, a tremendous, tremendous experience for them. Okay? So, uh, we're going to go ahead and play jackbox.tv, of course. You're probably already there. Here's the room code. G-S-U-E G-S-U-E Now we gotta make sure Luva gets in So Luva There we go She made it very clear <laughs> That she's in the game So let's fill this up Chase, Googly Eyes Krager SS Welcome Johnny's back I'm so happy I'm so glad you're back Johnny Mama Hitchens back 
I hope you're enjoying these Jackbox games. They're pretty cool, right? Jumping Jack, welcome. Glad to have you. And Danny B is back. All right. I'll join in as an audience member because the audience can actually win. So if you didn't get in the game and you're watching, you can still log in at jackbox.tv, put in the room code, put in your name. You can join us as an audience member. Let's take it from these silly little puppets, shall we? We can't take this from them, okay? Let's do this. Here we go. All right? Have fun, everybody. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Sorry, we're out of rooms, but we have plenty of deadly trivia. Only one of you will survive. The rest of you will die. Was that clear? I'm trying to be a better communicator. All right, first question. What's the name of the witch from the Odyssey? Use your device to answer the question. That means you weirdos in the audience, too. Oh. 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 Time's almost up! And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, it's time. Welcome to room 113. Yay! I love using Cousin Aloysius' magic props. Pick a space inside the box to hide. I would say don't get too comfortable, but I feel like that's obvious. Chase, I've bet against you, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> choose now, or I'll choose for you. Uh. It's time for the volunteers. Here's the fun part. You get a sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. Sword is a weird sounding word, right? Swords. 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 Parry. Thrust. Ooh. Ah. We're not done with you yet. Remember, dead players are still players. Just more see-through. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Oh, by the way, the audience is a player now and can win the whole frickin' game. Hot tip, you can join the audience at any time. Let's try another one. What do you call two angles that add up to 90 degrees? Out. Who picked this? 
That's right, audience. Let's go. Yeah. You are still alive. I want to show you something. Bonjour. Welcome back to the killing room. Ah, the spirit of giving. You each get $500. Give some of that money to your friend. The person with the most cash at the end will die. But there's a catch. If one of you ends up with $800 or more, I'll kill the other one instead. Okay, we've got Mama and Son here sitting together. I hope they're not working this out. <laughs> Chase, I'm going to keep betting against you until you lose, buddy. Oh. Time for a credit check. <laughs> they say you can never be too rich, but you sure proved that wrong. Can you tell they were sitting together? <laughs> that was great. Everyone can see that the dead players are ghosts, right? I'm not just freaking out. Let's keep moving. According to Merriam-Webster, what year was the word meme first used in print? Actually, googly eyes is someone else. I've got it wrong. My apologies. But that was funny. Almost out of time! Who picked... this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Follow me. It's my old favorite, Chalices. I've given each safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. I can't bet against Chase here, so I'm gonna have to pick Mrs. Bender. I'm sorry. Now it's I'm your so turn sorry. to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. <laughs> this poison is the bad kind of poison, so choose carefully. Uh. Uh. Goes down smooth. Now let's see what everyone drank. Oh yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Here, when one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. What makes Tom Hanks big in Big? Only a ghost got it wrong. Well, that sucks. Let's try another one. You're all my pawns, so you may know this. How far can a rook travel in a single chess move? Time 
Joining out. <laughs> Who picked this? Time for consequences. There's nothing more fun than fogged up mirrors. The ghost of my Aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. She has her own consistent handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will everyone else. Draw a word on the mirror, and maybe you'll trick someone into thinking it's Aunt Mildred's. Go ahead and start writing. Watch closely. One of these new words will be a word written by Aunt Mildred's ghost. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote, or you die. Oh. Ah. Oh. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Looks like there's no fooling you. Aren't you special? You know what that means. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. You've made it so far, but can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Taller than the Eiffel Tower. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. You're on your way to escaping. Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Aww, that's cute. If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Is almost up. Ten letter words. Going too easy on you. Lunchables. Uh oh, here comes trouble. Here comes the darkness. Antelopes. Time is almost up. Here come the ghosts. Enjoy oblivion in the darkness. Black Mirror episodes. Next question. Oh, 
great. The darkness might my entire audience. Metamorphic rocks. Time is almost up. Don't look back because there's a ghost right there. You won't be forgotten, whoever you were. Career cards in the modern edition of the Game of Life. Boy Scout Merit Badges. Pass me the popcorn. This one's close. This will slow you down. You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Time is almost up. Oh! You have to get all the right answers to escape. It goes to your life force. Squash! We've got a winner! Way to go, Luva. Luva! Luva! Way to go! Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Showing up to the trivia murder party fashionably late, I might add. Very impressive. Uh, that's a fun game. What a great finish. That was awesome. Very nice job. I think what we're going to do is play one more of this game because then we've got about 20 minutes left, I think. Uh, going to wrap it up. And you're on Central Time. Okay. <clears throat> so... 7.40 p.m. for Luva. Uh, we're going to play one more Trivia Murder Party. I hope I hope you guys are enjoying these uh, Jackbox games. They're so much fun. You might have noticed uh, up in the chat, I put our Facebook page for the Playroom Experiment. If you want to know more about what we do, um, I mean, in short, this started six years ago in my basement. And in the beginning, we were serving families living with autism. I had learned a lot about how difficult it, difficult it was for families to enjoy the social surroundings that many of us can enjoy at free will. And we shared the idea with a pinball company. They had sent me three brand new $10,000 pinball machines. And for one year in our basement, once a month, we invited families living with special needs, families who weren't living with special needs, and we created the most natural, inclusive space you could ever imagine. It, people would come into our home. If they wanted to have snacks, they'd have snacks. If they wanted to go downstairs and play, they would play. It was amazing. Fast forward six years and it's evolved into um, a belief or a notion that anyone can play a game with anyone. And since our families moved here in 2022, I believe, uh, we've placed over $40,000 of gaming materials into the community of Dorchester where the uh, Lost Sockets are located. It's where many of the team members, we've got Hudson in here tonight, Harshal, Shivani, uh, Nathan, uh, Ethan, I don't think Ethan's here with us tonight, 
Uh, Danny. Danny's uh, a new recruit for the Lost Sockets, and we haven't had a chance to see Danny join us in our game spaces, but I know he wants to. It's just incredible um, how the community is gathering to create inclusive, welcoming play spaces for uh, people who live here in the Thames Center region. Um, and it has turned into this amazing thing. So please follow us on uh, Facebook at facebook.com backslash Playroom Experiment. It's up in the chat. And uh, Mark Janes is in the house, everybody. All right. So Mark Janes is one of the uh, head coaches for the Lost Sockets. And he has an update that they have passed inspection for the robot. So I think it's only fitting before we play our last game that we roll one of the key matches that they had at, uh, I believe it was up in Barry. It was a very close match. But if you don't know anything about FIRST Robotics, I'd like to play something for you before we play our last game. We've definitely got to get Mr. Janes in on the last game. Talk about someone who is committed to young people. Uh, I have had many a great opportunity to sit with Mr. Janes one-on-one. -on -one. He's an amazing individual. Um, you know, I just turned 50, and you think when you turn 50, there's, there's not much more to learn from others. But my interactions, my dealings with Mark, he's become one of my best friends since moving to Dorchester. He has taught me so much about how to run this charity better. Um, one of the things that I appreciate when you know when you're when you're anyone who comes up with an idea trying to um, gather others to make the world a better place as a collective this is a gentleman who well I don't know I don't know James is is gentleman pushing it <laughs> he's gonna be offended by that just in, if you don't know Mr. Janes, he's not going to appreciate that compliment. Uh, but I deeply appreciate the opportunity and, and just the, the happenstance of stars lining up so I could meet this person because he has taught me so much about how to run the Playroom Experiment better. And I'm so happy that uh, we can come back and help him and his team uh, in, in some small way, right? Um, it's a moving force in this high school, and this, uh, this team is committed and driven to do well this weekend. So let me play for you a match before, uh, before we play our last game. And uh, I forget what audio channel this is tied into, so wish me luck with this, all right? Here we go. <laughs> Period. The blue eyes with a slight edge heading into the teleoperator period of this match. A789 heading immediately to the red side of the field to place of defense. That's the lost sockets trying to get in the way of Roman Ox 3D. And an alliance partner, the Cyrus. 40 15 Jag shoots just misses the. Speaker of his allies, partners, more Orthodox units score. 244, Orthodox 3D. They have a known air possession. They're looking to shoot longer. Speaker is amplified. They shoot and score. The Cyber shoot and score for the Red Alliance. Multiple red lines from us heading over to their source station. They're looking to pick up more notes and bring them back to score. The League of Logic dropping them. They have to go back for another one. The lines for an early on green flashing with the side bears. They shoot and score. Little bit of green heading back for another note. Their lines are 5870 in the League of Logic. They have a note in their possession. They're looking to score. 87, 89, the lost socket still taking up that defensive position right in front of the red line speaker. Not allowing any red line robots to get right in front to score. There is still an edge for the red alliance. 
as we enter the back portion of this match. 9580 just missing that note. Following out this thing about the pickup and try again. That alliance partner of the week of Roger clashing with the lost sockets, trying to get into position to score. More overdogs. 216 looking to grab another note from the Blue Alliance Star Station. They're heading back across the field under their stage. Lining up the shoot. It's a very close match. These last few points of the other match will decide the difference. Multiple Blue Alliance robots taking up position at their stage. They're looking up off the ground to get on stage for bonus points. Five seconds left. We have one, red, one Blue Alliance robot up off the ground. Two Blue Alliance robots parked. Let's see what the official score says. Official score. The Blue Alliance takes the win with a score of 34 to 33. Incredibly close match. Congratulations to 216, I mean, it doesn't get any much better than that, right? It was it was really impressive uh, what they did, um, not just in this match, but all the way through the entire uh, tournament. It was phenomenal. Um, and I, I really want to highlight that it's not as much about the winning as it is about aligning with other teams. One of the things that stands out when you're watching one of these tournaments is if a robot breaks down, there's another team from another high school who will immediately step up and help that team fix that robot. Um, I will tell you, so Luva, it's interesting you mentioned that. You, uh, two things you said that were interesting. You love the Pac-Man ghost. So that was actually a tribute to the Playroom experiment. Um, I should have loaded up a whole bunch of pictures to show you specifically because you just stumbled upon our channel recently. But there'll be lots of time for that because, again, I really wanted to put the spotlight on this team. They've done so much for the Playroom experiment. I can't make it more clear. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. And if it wasn't, he if it wasn't for Mark Janes, and Kurt Pollard and other people in this community who have helped create latitude for us to do the things that we want to do. There's just absolutely no way. So this is their time. This is their moment to shine. And this is why I've wanted to really uh, just so happy to be doing these live streams to support them. Um, I, I have felt indebted to them for such a long time. And I'm so happy to be able to uh, see everyone come together and collectively push this rock forward to help them get to Mississauga and have a great weekend, I certainly hope. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing, okay? And the reason why I'm showing this to you is because it, it, it exemplifies what FIRST Robotics is really all about. It was uh, created by Dean Kamen, I think that's his name. He invented the Segway, and he is the creator of FIRST Robotics. And the theory was that, yes, you can win a tournament, but it's not about the winning as much as it is about community and spirit and helping one another and rolling up your sleeve and just getting the job done so that everybody wins in some shape, form or fashion. And it mirrors so much what the Playroom Experiment stands for. When we play games, we play pinball, we have competitions, you know, as it gets as competitive as friendly. Uh, nobody's ever going to care who wins a board game or a pinball game or our upcoming gaming uh, gamer Olympics on, on May the 11th. So I want to show you one more thing before we play uh, our last game of Trivia Murder Party 2. Uh, this is um, a trailer that you can watch on Disney Plus. It's called More Than a Robot and it says everything about what this entire league stands for. Have a look. I was at the club fair. There was this huge pile of metal. It was a robot, and I was hooked. We created FIRST to inspire kids to be a microcosm of the real world of engineering. FIRST doesn't tell kids what to do or show them how to do it. They have to figure it out. You don't know what your passion is until you try new things. There's a bunch of different elements. We're having some issues with the battery wire. It's a little daunting. 
six weeks is barely enough time to build a robot. I hope we will have enough time to finish, but who knows? When we started this, we had 20 some odd teams. Now we have thousands and thousands all around the world. First has given me the opportunity to become better and better and to never stop dreaming. It is way more than a club. It teaches you the skills of life. It's technology, respect, teamwork. It is more than robots. And that's it right there. We want to run through our donors because without them, this would not have been a success. Deborah Dorman, $20. Bonnie Wilson, $50. Thank you, Bonnie. Kelly Sove at LDSS, $20. Caitlin Ward, friend of Mark Jane's, $50. Elizabeth Haggart, one of our driving forces for the Playroom Experiment, $20. Karen Hitchin, $50. Everett Jane's, Mark Jane's son, $10. Sherry Watson, $20. Penny Weir and $50, a key cog in our community. Luva, Luva, thank you. $20. Luke Primo, $20. Mike and Diane Lacey, $150. Wayne Dealman, $20. The Bender Family, $150. Cindy Williams, $25. Catherine Ferguson came in recently with $100. Sean Pink, $100. Current total... A big one. $1,225. Is that what that said? Did I miss that? $1,225. What a success this has been. Keith Graham, of course. Christina Parker. And there's Deborah Dorman again. So what a great three days this has been. Can I just make a confession? I am so tired. <laughs> and if I'm tired, then I guarantee you the lost sockets have gone to a back alley in Dorchester somewhere to look for a bag of adrenaline so that they can get through the next three days. If I am tired, I can't even imagine how this team feels because everything has happened. I mean, this started in January. They go to school. Mr. Janes drives every day from Brantford. It's about 45 minutes away, shows up in the morning, has to do all of his classes. The students have to go to all their classes. Then the school day ends and they have to gather almost every day to work on the robot. That's why I showed you this trailer. Go to Disney Plus, watch this documentary ro more than a robot. It, it'll just bring tears to your eyes in a good way because it, it represents an, an entire, a, a massive group of young people that they want to be where the you can make the world a better place, right? It's not about, it, there's a competition, but for them, it's about lifting up each other. And there's nothing more powerful than that. It mirrors everything that the Playroom Experiment stands for. Um, just trying to catch up on the chat here. Um, yeah, Hudson, you make a great point, right, to, to, uh, to Luva. Ro uh, robotics is everywhere. Team 8789 if I'm not mistaken, means that they are the 8,789th team to register first robotics. Okay, see see what I'm talking about? Mr. Janes, heading out for dinner. Heading out for dinner. See you in the morning, right? You see what I'm talking about? He's having dinner now. So it's, it's very intense, and many of the team members are here tonight playing games with us. It's just unending the demand that it, you know, that's called on them. And um, I'm so proud of them. I'm just really, really proud of them. Okay. So thank you everyone for being here. Let's wrap up with a great game of Trivia Murder Party. Here we go. Let's unlock the room code MWAZ. Let's do this one more time. One more time in style. Here we go. All right, great. T-Roy, Luva, Hudson, Krager back in, Chase, Googly Eyes. I actually have to apologize too. I got Googly Eyes and Mama Hitchin mixed up in the last game. 
Jumping Jack, and Mama Hitchin. Here we go. Unfortunately, Johnny has gone to bed. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much. Much love to all of you. Luva, we look forward to seeing you uh, in the future. Troy, just want to send hello out to Troy. Um, nice to have you in here tonight. Okay. Make sure you join our Facebook group, facebook.com backslash Playroom Experiment. You can keep an eye on everything we're doing. And uh, Luva, that's especially for you when we start uh, keeping up our live streams, okay? Uh, awesome to have you in here, Troy. Thanks for joining in, okay? Good luck to everybody. Go kick some ASS. Proud of y'all. Much love to everybody, okay? Have a good time tonight. Not tonight. We've already had a good time tonight. Have fun playing this last game, all right? Here we go. The local residents familiar with the abandoned building's history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close Unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Up next, more crap. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. That glowing review in Real Hotels Magazine was a fake luring you here to fight for your life. Only one of you will survive. Quick tip, it's easier to win if you cut all emotional attachments now. Okay, first question. Which of these are white blood cells that play an important role in immunity? Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, come with me. Welcome to room 113. The hair dryer's broken, sorry. Ah yes, tattoos. Give me a new tattoo by drawing on your device. I'm so excited about my cool new look! Now vote for your favorite tat! The artist with the fewest votes will die! <laughs> vote already! What did we decide? Ugh, a tie? Well, I guess it's up to me. I will not let this tattoo define me. My only consolation is punishment. <laughs> Surprise! You're a ghost now. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Oh, also, there's an audience in the game. If they survive, you die. If you're not ready now, you can join the audience whenever. It's like super low pressure. Let's keep moving. What does it mean to describe someone as milk toast? <laughs> uh, 
Ben! Time for the stop! Who picked this? The rest of you, follow me. Welcome back to the killing room. Heads! You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm, someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. Go ahead, everyone else. Choose a slot to make it no bueno. Hurry along. If someone dies in your death zone, you get a prize. So much for group participation. I'll do it myself. Okay. Let the games begin. Pick a spot to drop from. Ooh, I just love watching this one. Land in a slot or else. Not getting all the way to the bottom is not a loophole that will save you. And as for the board, no more deaths. Well, you can't have everything. Let's try another one. Where is the ancient city of Petra? Almost out of time! Who picked... this? The rest of you who are still alive... Time for consequences! A game of telephone! I'm giving each of you a telephone, but I only have three phone numbers. Dial one of these numbers on your rotary phone before anyone else or you die! I'll have you know, I had to kill a lot of hipsters to get these rotary phones. I knew googly eyes would come through on this one. Nice job. Funny how these kids can build a robot, but they can't dial on a rotary phone, right? Hurry up! If time runs out, I'll kill you too! If the line is dead, then you're dead too! Those were not kids that died. Uh-oh. We're here. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. What color M&M was retired in 1995? <laughs> <laughs> show you something. I'm 
I'm going to give you a chance to password protect your life. Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Make it hard to guess. If your password gets cracked, you die. Come on! Now everyone else will try to crack the passwords. As a team, guess either password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. I'll reward you all for every password you correctly guess in time. Don't be greedy about what letters you figured out. Let everyone know. Time's almost up. Oof! Well, I hope the rest of your passwords are harder than that. Oh, wow. Hudson, that was a good one. Let's keep moving. Which of these is Indian? Almost out of time! Oh. Who picked... this? It's time! Math! It's back, baby! Do as much math as you can before time runs out. Everyone else will be playing along. If any of them do better than you, you'll die. Let's go! Numbers come in all shapes and sizes. I mean, you just gotta love that. Only time for one or two more bits of math. I guess you plus math equals dead. Way to go, googly eyes. Very impressive. Here, this hotel looks exactly the same as when I was a kid. The wallpaper's the same, the lights haven't been replaced, and there's still an elevator full of terrified people. Let's try another one. What else did Gustav Eiffel help build? Follow me. Let's play a dice game. It's real simple. The player who rolls the highest will die. But we've got some help to make this more interesting. You have an extra die that you can give to whoever you want to make their odds worse. Oh, 
roll them. The player with the highest total dies. What can I say? Dice just roll like that. Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Congrats on making it here alive! But can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Crustaceans! Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping. Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Oh, that's cute. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. I don't have anything good to say about how the audience is doing. Acronyms! Divisible by seven! Cannot run that ghost forever. Don't look behind you. Are you afraid of the dark? German composers. Time is almost up. There's always room in the darkness. U.S. Monopoly streets. Mm. You stole some yummy life force. You are but shadows now. Characters snapped away in Avengers Infinity War. Another life swap. The darkness approaches. Walking Dead characters! Time is almost up! McDonald Land characters! Trap. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too.
<laughs> Jumping Jack! Jumping Jack! Nice job. Very well done. Wow. What a way to end this drive. I don't know. I think the uncorrected version was better. How do you mean? The uncorrected... Oh! <laughs> I am pretty. The... <laughs> I am not pretty. I'm sorry. I, f I face the facts. But I I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Oh, wait, did Luva win? Wait a minute. I thought... Hold on. I got a text. Hold on. I gotta bring this in. How am I gonna do this? I know how to do this. Hold on. I got a text from Mark Janes, ladies and gentlemen. This is the photo I just received. <laughs> from Mark Janes. Having dinner. I wonder where he is. Where do you guys think he is? Let's look at the menu here. There's the menu. Right at the bottom. What is that? Start. What does that say? Start something, end your something, something, something. What do you make of it? TGIF. Well, TGIF is actually American. We don't have those in Canada. I'm thinking it's maybe uh, like a Jack Astor's or a Krabby Joe's. It's nice that, you know what's nice about that photo? That all of their eyes are open. The Rotary Dial is a great game. Um, I love the Rotary Dial. Actually, I also got a photo. Hold on, let me bring something else up. Bear with me here. I want to show you something that's cool. Alright, here we go. Check this out. So that is our very intelligent robotics team trying to figure out what the heck a phone book is for and how do you do you, how do you use it there you go right they can build the robot <laughs> this is why i love live streaming it's great i get all kinds of stuff from mark right he's like check this out so when we started this, the live streaming on monday night the rotary phone game came up. He's like, you're not going to believe this. This is uncanny. Yeah. I mean, that that there might be the only payphone left in Canada. I'm not even sure. So, like, I, you could put so many captions on that. Right? Like, something, stuff like, is this a Java manual? Is this a manual from the 1970s for Java? What are all these numbers for? Why are all these last names here? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. He sends me so much stuff. Um, this is a picture of him driving down to Windsor. He shot, he shot me a picture of this because I grew up in Wallaceburg. That's my hometown. So he took a picture of that and sent it. This here is interesting. This is really interesting, actually. Um, so I sent him a picture back. Actually, after he sent me... Uh, which photo is it? Hold on a second here. Where is he? Oh, you guys get to see my, my, uh, my secrets here. So after he sent me this... I sent him this. <laughs> this is where I am right now, everybody. That's my that's my setup right there. So you see in the middle screen there, those are all my inputs. That's how I switched the show. You can see in the far right side all my audio levels. My soundboard, I got a little tiny soundboard. That little piece of power there can do so much. Troy, good night, buddy. 
Have a great night. Sleep well. So we we have a great relationship, not just between him and I and Mr. Dawson, but the entire, uh, all of the students. They're just an amazing group of people. I love working with them. And uh, I'm eternally grateful. Let's close this off one more time, celebrating the way that we should with all of the people who have contributed to make this a successful initiative for the Lost Sockets. Luva Wilkinson, thank you so much. Make sure you go to facebook.com backslash playroom experiment to follow us. We're going to be doing more live streaming. We want to stay connected with you. Uh, you're an amazing person for supporting this initiative. It's funny how the stars line up. Cindy Williams, Catherine Ferguson, who donated $100 tonight. Sean Pink donated $100 tonight. Thank you so much, Sean. A current total of $1,225. Of course, myself and Mark kick things off, challenging everybody. Don't let us be the only ones. Christina came through. Keith Graham came through on Monday night. Deborah Dorman with $20. Uh, Bonnie Wilson came through on Tuesday, kicked things off on Tuesday. Kelly Sove, teacher at LDSS. Caitlin Ward, old friend of Mark Jaynes. Elizabeth Haggard, one of our Playroom Experiment Essentials. Karen Hitchin, Chase's mom. Cats out of the bag. Everett Janes, Mark's son, Sherry Watson, community member, Penny Weir, an amazing community member, and Luva. Back again to Luva. So you can see, you know, it's, uh, oh, wait, let me cut back to me. There we go. It's not how that's supposed to go. Anyways, I, I am uh, eternally grateful for the support and the many different avenues that this support came down. It's so impressive. Um, SB, glad you had a fun night. Uh, oh, Bender, part of the Bender family. Awesome. Amazing. Uh, look forward to meeting the Bender family in particular. Getting to know Danny a little bit better. Cheryl, it was nice to uh, connect with you tonight as well. Um, forgive my tired eyes. I'm just trying to slog through this. And as I said earlier, if I'm tired then I can't even imagine how the lost sockets feel. I hope they found an alley, as I said to uh, to uh, buy a bag of adrenaline and get through this weekend. What an opportunity for them it will be. So proud of them. Um, very thankful for everyone who joined us tonight and we just have a lot of fun, right? Uh, Red Bull. That's the last thing I want, man. That is the last thing I want. Uh, Preston, we've got to connect too, buddy. All right, so listen, we're uh, we're taking a, a family break, a much needed family break, and when I return, I will reach out to you, Preston Luva. Make sure you stay connected with us again. Facebook.com backslash Playroom Experiment. We're going to be doing a lot of these streams. Um, I love playing Jackbox. It's a great community. Um, even if you're not part of First Robotics, it it it, it breeds attention and brings people in, and it's just a wonderful way to uh, to connect. I got one thing better than a Cuban coffee. I just take a spoon, hit the can, eat it. Just eat it up, right? We actually bought one of those uh, Nespresso's. I like the Nespresso's. They're a lot of fun. You uh, get to explore with the coffees. You go into the mall and you, you the different seasons, they bring out different pods for different, different flavors. Um, we are addicts when it comes to our coffee. It's not not really a good thing. All right. I think that's everything in the chat. Um, I, I had a lot of fun. I'm so tired. Bear with me if I'm, I'm not uh, coherent right now. I don't know how this Lost Sockets team is doing it, man. They've got to be, oh, just... <sighs> I guess I didn't find the right alleyway. Anyways, I hope I was tolerable tonight. I had a great time with all of you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining um, this effort in supporting the Lost Sockets. What a success. What a success. This was great. Great fun. All right. Much love to everybody. We will see you again on the Playroom Experiment sooner than later. Listen, before I go, I got to make a confession to uh, Preston here. It's a very nice thing for you to say, but... I believe wholeheartedly that we all have our role in anything. Um, my role is, I, I, I'm like the idea guy, right? 
But if there weren't people there to push it up the hill, it would just be an idea. Um, so I'm a little bit, I don't take compliments well, but thank you. I'm happy to do it uh, because they've done so much for the Playroom Experiment. This is the very least I could do. Um, and you know what? I've spent 50 years trying to be part of the cool club, right? Getting to hang out with the cool kids and all, right? It's taken me 50 years. It's far too long. All right. I hope to see you again. Stay connected. And um, when I get back, we'll do some more live streaming. And thank you again. God bless everybody. Much love to all of you. We'll see you again. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now I lay my clothes out before I sleep. In the room safe, my wallet I keep. I hope I don't die before I wake.